Hi, my name is Avinia and this is Peter. Welcome to Games Made Easy, a channel where we learn board games quickly and easily. Today, I want to teach you and give you tips on how to play King of Tokyo's first and second edition, a super fun game with lots of replayability. What is great in King of Tokyo is how intense it gets very quickly and how no two games are ever the same. It looks very simple and it is easy to learn, but there's a real skill to develop the more you play it. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and clicking the like button. It helps a lot. In King of Tokyo, you play a big bad monster competing with other monsters as big as you to take control of Tokyo and become the King of Tokyo. When a player reaches 20 victory points or is the last monster standing, the game stops immediately. Now let's look at how you set up a game. Start by putting the square board in the middle of the table. Players pick the monster of their choice. They're all the same, just different designs. Place it in front of you and take the corresponding monster board. Set the life points, the one with the heart, to 10 and the victory points to 0. Shuffle the cards to form a deck and deal the first three cards face up next to the board. Put the six black dice next to the board and set aside the green ones. Also put the green cubes called energy cubes on the side. Now let's see how we play King of Tokyo. Now all the players are going to roll the six black dice and the player who gets the most claws will start the game. In case of a tie, those players can roll again. Each turn consists of four steps. For now, the first player will start by rolling the dice. In this game, the dice are quite unique. They either have victory points, one, two, or three, energy, attack, or health. Roll all six dice at the same time. Put those you want to keep on the side. It's not bad to keep these two twos. Reroll the others. To make points, you need three of the same number. So here we can make two points. And with this lightning, you collect one energy. Whichever combination you go for, you can only re-roll twice. Let's see how we resolve the dice results. If you've rolled a triple one, two or three, you score either one, two or three victory points. So these three are worth three points, not nine. Each additional roll of that type is worth one extra victory point. So four threes would be four points and here five points for a maximum of six points. For each energy you have at the end of your roll, collect one energy cube. Save them from turn to turn so you can buy cards with them. At the beginning of the game, all the monsters are outside of Tokyo. So the first player who deals a claw at the end of their dice roll will deal no damage, but will enter Tokyo. Tokyo City and Tokyo Bay are the same in terms of gameplay. It's just that in games of four or less, only one monster can be in Tokyo at the same time, while in games of five or more players, two monsters can be in Tokyo at the same time. Also check these symbols here to remember to immediately score one point when you enter Tokyo or two points if you start your turn in Tokyo and that you cannot heal while you are in Tokyo. When you roll claws you deal damage to the monsters where you're not so it's either in Tokyo or outside of Tokyo. So if you are in Tokyo all the monsters outside of Tokyo take that damage and if you're outside of Tokyo you damage all the monsters in Tokyo. For each claw received, monsters lose one heart, which can be brutal in some rounds. If a monster's hearts get to zero, they discard all their cards and energies and retire from the game immediately. If you are eliminated by an attack on Tokyo, the monster who attacked you automatically takes control of Tokyo and scores one point. Now, when you're attacked while you're in Tokyo, you can decide to yield and leave Tokyo. If you decide to yield, place your monster outside Tokyo, you still take the damage. The monster who attacked you immediately enters Tokyo. Now let's have a look at how to heal the monsters. For that, you need to be outside of Tokyo and roll hearts. Each heart allows the monster to heal one lost life. You cannot go above 10 hearts unless you have a special card like even bigger. Once you've resolved your dice, and if you have enough energy, you can buy cards. Now, this is entirely optional. If you have enough energy, you can purchase any of the three face-up cards. You can even buy more than one card. The cost of the card is in the upper left corner and is paid in accumulated energy cubes. The card describes what it does and its effect. 
there are two different types of cards. The keep ones you keep until the remainder of the game and the discard cards you resolve immediately and then discard them. You can also spend two energy points to sweep all the shown cards and reveal three new cards. You can purchase and sweep in any order you want as long as you have enough energies to spend. Now the last step is to end your turn. Some card effects let you resolve some things at this point. It is the end of your turn, then give the dice to the player on your left as the game proceeds in clockwise order. The game ends immediately when a player reaches 20 victory points or is the last monster standing. There can be no ties in King of Tokyo. Now, my tips to win at King of Tokyo are if you see a couple of monsters with low health, don't hesitate to deal some claws because you can take them out in one shot. Check out the cards and if you see some that are really good, get energies to try and get them. It can be very dangerous to stay in Tokyo too long, so if you need to get out, yield. So that's how you play King of Tokyo. It's a really exciting game. Once players start getting some damage and you get some cool cards, it's electrifying. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you enjoy my content, consider supporting me on Patreon. The link is in the video description. We'll make more games easy soon. Bye now.